Today we are going to do this effect. It's a photography color shift. I don't know how to call it. Uh, it looks really nice though. We are also going to add the camera recording overlay to make it more fun. And yeah, let's start right away. So I have one clip at the start, then the video in the middle, and then another video to finish the effect. You want to focus on the video that's in the middle. That's the one that we're going to edit. First thing that you want to do is change the color to black and white, and then take a couple of screenshots, ideally as the person is moving, something like this. Just move your frames and take a screenshot, highlight all of them and drag them in the timeline. Make each one two frames long and just make sure to add them in the same order as you took the images, okay? Now create an adjustment layer and apply noise effect, change it to 20 and uncheck color noise. Let's add camera recording overlay. I found a free one on YouTube, I'll link it in the description if you want to use the same one. We need to remove the green screen, to do that apply ultra key and change the color to green. Ok, let's see how it looks for now. Let's try and add flashes. So first up, nest the middle section and create a white solid color. Then drag it one frame above the first clip and one frame above the nest sequence and change the blend mode to difference. And do the same for the other side, just duplicate the solid color. Ok, this is already looking so much better. And I wanna try one more thing real quick. I'm going to double click on the nest sequence. And I want to see how it would look if I increase the brightness to every other image. So again, we are adding a bit more flashes, I guess. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I like it this way. Now to finish it off, I'm going to add a template from Flash Cut Pack. It works so well with this type of visuals and it's going to sell the effect a little bit more. If you don't already have it, go ahead and click the link down in the description. It works with both Premiere Pro and After Effects by the way. I'm going to open up a special graphics tab and just drag one template in the timeline. Click on it and replace the images. So just drag the image in the photo placeholder and it's done. In just a few seconds you end up with this effect. It's absolutely crazy, I love it so much. Also, I am officially done with the first Flash Cut update. I added 3 new templates and I'm going to show you how it looks. So now there are 15 templates in the pack. It used to be 12, now there are 15 and I'm going to add more really soon. This time I didn't increase the price, but I will with the next update when I add more templates and features to it. So now is the perfect time to grab the pack at this price and get the future updates for free. Thank you so much for watching, hope you learned something new and got inspired to create and I will see you in the next one.